Come on in, pull up a chair and take a load off because today I'm going to review and page through the Horned Rat Companion for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay from Cubicle 7 Entertainment. Is this volume a near essential not only for game masters running the Horned Rat chapter of the Enemy Within campaign, but also just about anyone who wants to include the Skaven in their Wifrip adventures? Or is this some companionship that you can certainly live without? Well, you're going to find out right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Welcome once again to the Duct Tape Studios. I'm Jeff McAleer, your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As mentioned in the open today, I'm going to review and page through the Horned Rat Companion for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay from Cubicle 7 Entertainment. It's written by Graham Davis, Gary Astleford, Jim Bombra, Andy Chambers, Steve Darlington, Phil Gallagher, Andy Law, Patrick Murphy, and Anthony Reagan, with artwork provided by Ryan Barger, Alberto Bontempi, Alvaro Jimenez Hernandez, Ralph Horsley, Sam Manley, J.G. O'Donohue, Dave Gallagher, Safari Levente, Roxandra Oneida, Danielle De Palma, Fabio Porfida, Scott Purdy, Joseph Cruchera, and Tom Ventre. And my apologies, I guarantee I have completely mispronounced some of those names. This 126 page hardcover is available right now. It carries an MSRP of $34.99, or you can grab the PDF alone over at DriveThruRPG for $17.99. All that said, let's swing on over to the other camera because here I've got the Horned Rat Companion. So, a few things to mention before we dive on in. First off, the fine folks over at Cubicle 7 Entertainment were kind enough to provide me with this review copy, but neither I nor anyone else associated with Gaming Gang has received any other sort of compensation for me to share my review with you. These days, it's important for you to know that. Also, I'll be staying picture in picture up here. So as we take a peek through, I'll be cutting off a little bit of the upper left portion of the book. We are not going to look at each and every page, but I do want to give you a good feel for what's in the companion and share my thoughts about it. Lastly, there are some adventures in here, as well as tons of reference to the Horned Rat chapter of the Enemy Within campaign. So if you are a player hoping that your game master is going to run the Horned Rat, then I definitely recommend tune out now. Although I'm going to stay away from major spoilers, there are going to be some minor spoilers. And of course, as I page through, you might see something that gives something away. So if you are a player, I definitely recommend tuning out now. Normally at this point, I would be reading the back of the book, but the back of the book simply tells us what's in the book. And we're going to take a peek at that right now. So let's dive on in. So we're going to begin with a spread of Middenheim, which is a city that will play a major role in the Horned Rat chapter of The Enemy Within. This, of course, is a companion piece to the fourth chapter of The Enemy Within campaign. There are five chapters in all. Empire and Ruins is the final chapter, and I will be tackling that in just a bit. So one of the selling points of these companions that Cubicle 7 has made is that the contents are not only geared towards the enemy within campaign, that a lot of this can be utilized in any Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign. And that has been the case throughout. And I must admit, as we've seen more of the companions come out, I feel that that has been more true with the later volumes than some of the earlier volumes. Not to say that the earlier companions were only focused on the enemy within, not at all. But I have found that there is 
at least in my opinion, it feels like a lot of this content is pretty agnostic that you could utilize it anywhere. So a good portion of the book is devoted to the Skaven, their history, their background, their machinations, as well as various different clans, infighting within the clans and without the clans, and spells, gear, equipment, just tons and tons of goodies that can be used anywhere in any Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign. Now, of course, all of this builds on what's already included in the Horned Rat chapter of the Enemy Within campaign. So that's really nice as well. So one of the interesting aspects I find about the Skaven and the Old World is, for one, they are rat people. They are not beast men, although many of the powers that be would like the populace to believe not only that the Skaven don't exist, but if they do exist, now well, they're just, you know, they're just beast men that happen to have rat heads. Obviously, that's not the case. Skaven have a civilization. They have a culture. They have a hierarchy. So it is all built in. And of course, they have plans on the old world and uh, to uh, take out those pesky humans. So we get a bunch of information about the various different clans, as well as NPCs that you can introduce into the Horned Rat to kind of build upon the epicness that's already there, but really, really draw it out. And also I find that some of these NPCs add some really cool conflict within the Horned Rat as well. So not all of these different clans are pulling in the same direction at all. Another aspect I think is pretty cool is each of these clans do have unique units, unique characters that uh, can be utilized in encounters with the player characters. As I mentioned before, we get a bunch of new gear. We get a bunch of new spells. And there are quite a few new spells for the Skaven. And I find it kind of interesting that they're written from the point of view of the Skaven. So it's, it's not, it's written as if, you know, the, the caster is a player, not an NPC. There's also a spell that can turn another creature into Skaven, which they utilize a lot because, uh, for example, there's like rat ogres. Well, those ogres, they were actually ogres. So they are not actually rats. So as I mentioned quite a lot of uh, new magic spells as well. Now, the Skaven are also engineers, kind of along the lines is of dwarves, but of course, they deal with warp stone, and of course, they're, they're driven by chaos. They are chaotic creatures. So they, they aren't just like one-note monsters, like you'd, you'd see, say, like the goblins in D&D. No, they're... There's a lot of depth to the Skaven, and I definitely dig that a lot. As I mentioned, there are some new NPCs that can be introduced into the Horned Rat campaign, building upon some of the encounters that are already built in. There's some discussion of the conspiracy, because obviously enough, the powers that be are conspiring to keep the existence of the Skaven a secret. And of course, there's also a cult the yellow fang that the player characters are dealing with in the horned rat who actually work with the Skaven. The Skaven are like their masters. So that's very interesting. We get uh, a new NPC that we can introduce into that plot line uh, to create some conflict there that I found really interesting as well. So the more the player characters learn about the existence of the Skaven, the more other parties want to eliminate the player characters because now they know too much. We also get a bit of a gazetteer of an area that the player characters are going to find themselves in uh, nearing the climax 
of the horned rat because there is a massive, major, uh, epic plot that the Skaven uh, are in are involved with to try to pull down the chaos moon to crash into the old world. And this kind of fleshes out that area that the player characters will find themselves in. Uh, there's also uh, a bit of a, a bestiary with some creatures and monsters that they'll encounter, as well as a breakdown of the brass keep, which is this section here. We also have a trio of adventures. Now, I know that on the back of the book, it, it says there are two new adventures. Well, I guess two revised classic adventures that are included as, as well. We have a little help from my new friends, which introduces a really cool NPC, the, the greatest detective in the old world. And I found that to be uh, pretty cool. And I like the NPC. I could easily see using that NPC as a reoccurring character throughout Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay Adventures. Uh, the adventure itself is pretty straightforward. The player characters are trying to thwart these kidnappers who have gotten their hands on this noble son and are looking to ransom him off. They have been brought in by this great detective to get the son back. So here are some of the NPCs from that. Then we get Horror in the Darkness, which in some ways, strangely enough, kind of reminds me of the Star Trek uh, episode, the original series episode, the Horla. Although I must say the monster in this is a monster. It is not misunderstood. It is a monster that's looking to feed on people, but it takes place in a mine and it's terrorizing the miners. And I would take a guess that that episode of the original series, Star Trek probably was an inspiration for this. Then we're going to get the return of the Grave Lord. So these companions have started to include this like B plot line that game masters can utilize in Enemy Within. And it's got really nothing to do with the main plot, but it's this really kind of oddball wannabe necromancer that the player characters keep encountering. And He's actually very interesting. And you could easily use this plot line as its own campaign that you could kind of plug into various different adventures with Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. It doesn't necessarily have to be Enemy Within. And that's what's going to wrap up this volume. We're also going to get some handouts for the players as well. And then we get Midnight once again. And that is the Horned Rat Companion for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay from Cubicle 7 Entertainment. So let's swing on over to the other camera so I can share some final thoughts as well as my review score. I like these companions. Cubicle 7 Entertainment has pretty much stuck to their word and they've included a lot of content within these companions that can be easily used by any game master outside of enemy within you don't have to be utilizing that campaign or running that campaign to find a lot to like about these companions and the horned rat companion is no exception i will point out that if you're a game master and you really don't necessarily want to include the skaven that heavily into your adventures you probably won't have a need for this if you're not running Enemy Within. So this isn't a must-have for every game master running Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. But there's a lot of really good content in here. The two adventures are pretty solid as well, but all the content relating to the Skaven and various monstrosities that they create, the spells, the various different units, like the plague bearers, the, the Skaven that 
They carry like the brazers with, with poison and things. Very, very cool. There's just so much to easily utilize in your Warhammer Fantasy roleplay games outside of just Enemy Within. I dig this a lot. I think most game masters for Wifrip will appreciate this as well. So on a scale of 0 to 10, I give the Horned Rat Companion for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay a 9 out of 10. I think it is that good, and I really enjoyed reading it. And as you know, I have been trying to get the Enemy Within campaign off the ground with my gang. I could certainly see utilizing a ton of this content in that campaign. All right, that is it for this time out. If you like the video, by all means, please give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ding that bell. It'll not only let you know when I upload videos such as this review, it'll also inform you when my live stream, the Gaming Gang Dispatch, airs Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights live here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central. And of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all latest in tabletop gaming news, reviews, and a whole lot more that you won't find on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy life to check out this video. And until I see you next time, here's hoping each and every one of you get to enjoy plenty of great gaming with your gang. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, that's okay. You don't have to leave just yet. In fact, why don't you subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel right here or take a peek at the latest live stream or even find out what YouTube recommends you check out from the channel. And of course, I'm Jeff McAleer. Thanks again for watching.